When you first learn about articular cartilage, it's quite inspiring. Under the microscope, it looks intricate. But most of it is just water. It's unlike any other tissue in the human body or any man made material. Articular cartilage covers the bone in every joint in your body. Articular cartilage allows our joints to be 10 times smoother than ice on ice and four times smoother than Teflon. But eventually, it does break down. And when it does, we call it arthritis. Arthritis is unrelenting. What starts as a mild sore can progress to pain, swelling, and stiffness. Athletes, once capable of Herculean feats, may find themselves even unable to walk. All this because the cartilage has worn out. Total joint replacements have been developed. In these operations, the cartilage is replaced with metal, plastic, or ceramic surfaces. Joint replacement surgery was the crowning achievement of orthopedics in the 20th century. Today's hip replacements last decades, and each generation of knee, shoulder, and spine replacements gets better and better. But even the best joint replacement still wears out. And while a hip replacement allows a patient to return to golf, an elbow replacement restricts patients to carrying no more than five pounds on that arm at any time. So instead of replacing the joint with man-made metals and plastics, we need to protect and regenerate our own cartilage, stopping arthritis before it even happens. This is the promise of regenerative medicine. This is no easy task. Before we can regenerate cartilage, we need to understand it. This means that we have to learn what's happening inside the cells and the surrounding tissue. We also need to understand the forces that each joint experiences. We're currently developing mathematical simulations of the knee and spine using the same technology originally developed by the US government for simulating nuclear missile strikes on hardened underground bunkers. This is the orthopedic research of today and the orthopedic surgery of tomorrow.